I still don't get why the chief let you kids in here. Maybe it's because we solved the murder you were too dumb to do. I'd watch your mouth if I were you, kid. Yeah, well, I'd- If you two are done arguing, the interview is starting. Thank you, Mrs. Myers, for coming all the way out here. I just don't get it, officer. Rim was always so careful. How could this happen? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out, ma'am. When was the last time you saw your husband? Two days ago. He said he was leaving on a quick trip to meet someone here in Orchard Peak. Did he say who? No. Did he say why? No. Do you know anything about this person? Anything at all? I know they were from out of town. Ram said something about them deciding to meet here since it was a halfway point between their two homes. I see. Mrs. Myers, I myself have a wife. I know that if I were to leave town to meet someone, she'd want to know who and, and why. I'm wondering why you didn't ask those questions. Officer, Ram and I have been married for nearly 20 years. I trust him with my life. If he didn't want to tell me something or, or why he was meeting someone, I didn't question it. I see. Thank you for your time. Well, there's no arguing with that. Are you joking? She's lying through her teeth. And your evidence? My gut feeling? <laughs> Good luck getting a search warrant on gut feeling. Well, there's no arguing with that testimony. Are you people blind? She's lying. She maintained eye contact. She never broke a sweat. No unnecessary or weird twitching. There's no sign that she's lying. But I put you on this case, Morgan. I can take you off. Now, she said whoever her husband was meeting was visiting town. Cross-check all the local hotels with people who arrived four to two days ago. On it, boss. What can we do? You can go home. <laughs> what? But there's so much that needs to be done. And I don't need your help to do it. Just go home and do something else. I'll contact you if we find anything. So much for on the case. <laughs> Screw them. We're conducting our own investigation. That's the spirit. Oh, hey Mo, is Morgan here? Oh, hey Darby. Uh, no, she's at the station working on a case with Alex. Figures. You know, most people wouldn't hear that phrase and think, oh, that's normal. <laughs> yeah, well, most teens haven't reported three murders. Yeah, it's almost like crime just follows her. Yeah, it freaks out my mom. And rightfully so. Wow, thanks for talking about me behind my back. That's low, even for you, Darby. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Alex. Move over, Mo. I got some researching to do. About what? The case, of course. This Mrs. Myers girl just gives me a bad vibe. I know she's lying. She didn't seem like it. And Nancy didn't seem like she killed her mom, yet that's the crime that got me here. Let's see. The wife's name is Brenda Myers. She's a... a what? A preschool teacher. Really? She didn't look like one. Still, would a preschool teacher really lie on a testimony? That seems a little out of character. She works at the Petite Preschool. Someone look that up. I'm on it. The Petite Preschool is a school in DC for young children ages two to five, owned by her very own Brenda Myers. You know, for a teacher and a security guard, Brenda was wearing quite the nice fur jacket. I mean, her husband does work in the Pentagon, or did. Still, it almost looked too fancy. How could she afford that? The Petite Preschool, where is it located? Duh, on some shopping lot. What other shops are on that lot? Dolphins Donuts, A to Z Launders Mat, Remington Hair Salon, and Bouquet Boutique Florist. Well, that's interesting. What? Each of the people who own one of those stores, there's no record of them existing until three years ago, and no one's ever seen them. And how did you find that information so quickly? I type at 90 words per minute, no joke. Now these shop owners seem to have appeared out of thin air three years ago, meaning they probably don't exist. Exactly, they're most likely aliases. But if they're not real, who owns the stores? Who? I have a guess. Our victim, Ramsey Myers. Someone's been leading a double life. 
That's not even the half of it. A whole shopping lot must be expensive, yet all the stores are closed. Closed? If they're closed, how do they get their money? Ever watched Ozark? Oh, I love that show. Morgan, you can't be suggesting. I'm not suggesting, I'm inferring. Ramsey Myers and probably his wife too were owning and operating a money laundering business. This just got really intense.